Well, we just, uh, or Eric, you just played Monster Hunter World. Yeah, yeah. for like an hour. Yeah, it was, uh, it looked very nice. It or did. actually, it was like two hours with the fucking intro. Oh, yes, the intro. Um, uh, we, okay. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't record the intro, but, uh, we had some pretty, pretty strong thoughts about it. They give you this, oh, just this really great companion who's, uh. uh high-pitched overbearing just constant voice that just it gets to you after a while wow you should really go and check out the place where you go and buy all your weapons that they told you about two minutes ago oh wow look at the place where you go and get your weapons isn't it crazy fuck off rule number one complete the objective to complete the quest easy right Sure. Well, Each you just told me the definition of quest. <laughs> you can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Oh Our man. Objective like, I don't know if you needed a handler. <laughs> no, I don't. I I think it was a fairly unnecessary thing well, to put in going. there, but you know. I mean, as long as it's just for the yeah. opening bit going? where mm -hmm. she's it seems handholdy. Yeah. But I guess you were saying some of the previous Monster Hunter games you've played didn't really have much of a tutorial. Yeah, them, it just so. threw you in and it was like, have fun figuring out what you're supposed to do so that at least made it so you know what's going on and how to do shit i do kind of appreciate this tutorial because in the other monster hunter games there was a pretty big learning curve like it took a while to get anywhere learning curve That's there, nice on the list there's a little shit ton of tutorials in the beginning there yeah. like every menu that comes up there would be a tutorial for it mm -hmm. And that tutorial would have three separate menus where there's different, like, stuff that you can do. It was... And then the handler explaining things to you every time you're trying yeah. to learn it. It mm. seems like there's just a lot to learn. It'll take a while to learn, but mm. it would be rewarding to learn. Yeah, I, I realized fairly early on that the inventory screen and inventory management looked pretty in-depth and sort of... I didn't know if there was like it's almost a, overwhelming. Yeah, a formal crafting system, but it looks like there was sort of like a blacksmith that you go to yeah. to upgrade your stuff. So that seemed a little bit uh, daunting, but I'm sure it's one of those things if you just sort of take a second and you know go through it. It's probably not that bad. But. The crafting for like weapons isn't too bad because mm. you'll fight a monster and you'll get its materials. You'll go to the blacksmith and use those materials to make a new weapon. Sure. So as you fight more monsters, more weapons will be available to be made. Okay. Nice. Story. Uh, seemed like they were trying to set up a bit of one where you, like, come to, I guess, this new landmass. Yeah, this... the new world. Yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about the Monster Hunter lore, so I can't really speak to that. But it didn't seem like it was sort of the, the core driving force behind, you know the gameplay so you know it sets up your character's motivation sort of is you come here to figure out why there's elder dragons going here and then you just fight shit <laughs> yeah so i mean i guess in a game like this it doesn't really matter it seems like it's more gameplay oriented than anything oh, right. so i don't know i, I mean if, i guess if you're expecting a big story from a japanese game like this uh I don't you're look, looking in the wrong area yeah totally um but, you know, it seemed like the gameplay is going to be the bulk of what you're doing anyway, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Yeah. Speaking of gameplay, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Um, first, I guess, start off with the movement. It seems they've improved that with, like, your guy will, like, slide around while running, and, like, you actually move semi-fast, except for when your weapon's drawn. So, like, the mobility seems pretty good. You can climb walls, move through, like brushes of bushes uh, the yeah. br what's it the called bramble. the bramble the bramble yeah. um the actual fighting is fun like when you hit a creature and it comes up with a little like before it would never have the little numbers come up for when you're hitting them you just kind of had to guess how much damage you were doing but i like seeing the feedback and knowing that how much you're actually hitting them 
Because it seemed to turn like orange when you would hit them somewhere where it actually hurt in gray. If it didn't hurt them that much. Alright, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, um... I mean, the combat looked maybe a little bit sluggish, but I think that was because you were using a larger weapon. Yeah. So... And even still, with the larger weapon, like, you could tell when you hit, it felt good. Okay. Like, when it actually hit. That's good. Nice. Um, also, I mean, I'm not speaking from a place of knowledge, since I've never played any of these games, but, like, has the tracking that you sort of did and stuff, and, like, sort of the map management been in previous games as well? Or is that new, or...? It's... The tracking seems to be kind of new, where, like, you look for these green outlines where yeah, like your scout flies the scout flies they'll the lead you the green boys that didn't used to be a thing but i kind of like that it's kind of like you're actually tracking the creature mm -hmm. instead of you just kind of stumble across it at some point okay cool um seems like it's leaning towards a more western audience you thought yeah because um, the I, for the first uh the i've played monster hunter 3 uh, four and generations and first of all they all seem kind of archaic where the graphics weren't as modern and like it seemed kind of not as streamlined and kind of clunky and difficult to figure things out but this one's kind of yeah. trying to push you more towards like here's how you do things go do it now the previous titles were mostly handheld so, one face, so that might sort of allude to why they were maybe a little bit lesser in terms of graphics, I thought. Sort of, because I think they started on, like, the PlayStation and, and uh, stuff, like, PlayStation 1, PS2, and then they moved to, like, Monster Hunter 3 was on the Wii U, and then the others were on 3DS. Yeah, I, I remember seeing a lot of the titles on 3DS and thinking, because the game, obviously, or the series has a pretty large following so yeah i just always i figured it was mostly from 3ds but again i'm fairly ignorant as to uh, uh everything concerning it but, you know it's but, nice they seem to be reaching for a, a broader audience yeah i suppose and this seems like the first one where like like it's beautiful mm. yeah it looks very nice and in the previous monster under games it wasn't an open world where you'd go hunt them like you'd have sections of the map and then you would move and it would be a loading screen and you'd be another part of the map mm. while this one is just a one big fluid map where there's no loading screens as long as you're in the area where you're actually hunting so the previous titles were like more linear i wouldn't say they were linear it was still like an open map but there was just loading screens like in between oh, okay. areas you could go to gotcha gotcha well, that makes sense so yeah it looked really nice yeah and we're just on like all the gameplay was recorded on the original xbox one not the xbox one x mm -hmm. and even still it looked pretty damn good yeah we can't afford nice things yet not, so. well i'm getting my new xbox like monday or some shit I'm all right well you don't have to rub it in everyone's face <laughs> rich boy oh yeah <laughs> uh okay so but yeah it looked really good uh everything looks really fluid super detailed know, yeah, I mean, it's sort of in that typical, like, JRPG sort of styling. But yeah. It, it still looks very crisp and really, just really fresh and nice to look at. So I really don't have any complaints on the graphical side. So sort of uh, summing up, what did uh, what did you think? I'd say I'm hooked. You're hooked? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a, not a fucking veteran to the franchise but i at least have played a few and this seems to be the same as the other ones just better and more for an american westernized audience mm -hmm. so just streamlined a bit more yeah totally um yeah obviously i know basically nothing about the series but i can say this kind of has me interested in it a yeah. little bit so i mean i'm not sure if i'll ever get around to playing this title in particular um but yeah, I'm definitely interested in learning more, and I, I would say I'm hooked as well. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, listening to us ramble on for 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Goodbye. You See you. Good to me.